Hi everyone, my name is Miss Vanita. You might have seen me just recently for Project Cornerstone, reading Giraffes Can't Dance. But I'm here today to read one of my favourite books, and it's called Possum Magic. Why I like this book is because it's Australian. It's by an Australian author called Mem Fox. And it really reminds me of home because I'm from Australia. And the illustrations are by Julie Vivis. And the illustrations are just beautiful. That's also why I like it. I'll get started. Possum Magic. Once upon a time, but not very long ago, deep in the Australian bush lived two possums. Their names were Hush and Grandma Poss. Grandma Poss made bush magic. She made wombats blue and kookaburras pink. She made dingoes smile and emus shrink. But the best magic of all was the magic that made Hush invisible. What adventures Hush had. Because she couldn't be seen, she could be squashed by koalas. Because she couldn't be seen, <laughs> she could slide down kangaroos. Because she couldn't be seen, she was safe from snakes. Which is why Grandma Poss had made her invisible in the first place. But one day, quite unexpectedly, Hush said, Grandma, I want to know what I look like. Please, could you make me visible again? Of course I can, said Grandma Poss. And she began to look through her magic books. She looked into this book. She looked into that. There was magic for thin and magic for fat. And magic for tall and magic for small. But the magic she was looking for wasn't there at all. Grandma Poss looked miserable. Oh, don't worry, Grandma, said Hush, I don't mind. But in her hearts of hearts, she did. All night long, Grandma Poss thought and thought. The next morning, just before breakfast, she shouted, It's something to do with food. People food, not possum food. But I can't remember what. We'll just have to try and find out. So later that day, they left the bush where they'd always been to find out what it was that would make Hush seen. Off they go. They ate Anzac biscuits in Adelaide, Mornay and Minties in Melbourne, steak and salad in Sydney and pumpkin scones in Brisbane. Hush remained invisible. Oh, don't lose heart, said Grandma Poss. Let's see what we can find in Darwin. They really were travelling everywhere across Australia. It was there, in the far north of Australia, 
that they found a Vegemite sandwich. Grandma Poss crossed her claws and crossed her feet. Hush breathed deeply and began to eat. <gasps> a tail! A, a, a tail! shouted both possums at once. For there it was! A brand new visible tail. Later, on a beach in Perth, they ate a piece of pavlova and Hush's legs appeared and so did her body. Look at that. Oh, you look wonderful, you precious possum, said Grandma Poss. Next stop, Tasmania. And over the sea they went. There they go. Tasmania is part of Australia, but it's a, it's a separate island, so you have to get there by boat. In Hobart, late one night in the kitchens of the casino, they saw a lamington on a plate. Mm. Hush closed her eyes and nibbled. Grandma Poss held her breath and waited. <gasps> oh, oh, it's worked! It's worked, she cried. And she was right. Hush could be seen from head to tail. Grandma Poss hugged Hush and they both danced. Here we go round the lamington plate till early in the morning. Now from that time onwards, Hush was visible. For once a year on her birthday, she and Grandma Poss ate a Vegemite sandwich, a piece of pavlova, and half a lamington, just to make sure that Hush stayed visible forever. And she did. And that's the end of the story. Thanks for listening. Bye.